Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday, I guess. <laughs> well, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're doing well this morning. Oh, it's the taste of BFW. That's good stuff. Very good. All right. Well, we're on the uh, the second Monday of the Easter season, and uh, this morning we're going to start off in Psalm ninety five, and then we have a reading in First Samuel, and then First Peter. So let's get started. Psalm ninety five, and as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand. Today, if you hear His voice, do not harden your hearts, as at Meribah, as on the day of Massa in the wilderness, when your fathers put me to the test, and put me to the proof. Though they had seen my work, for forty years I loathed that, that generation, and said, They are a people who go astray in their heart, and they have not known my ways. Therefore I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Mm. A little coffee here. All right. The Old Testament lesson, 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 1 through 13. And this one is entitled, David Anointed King. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve over Saul, since I have rejected him from being king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I will send you to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided for myself a king among his sons. And Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take a heifer with you, and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord, and invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you what you shall do. And you shall anoint for, for him, <clears throat> you shall anoint for me him who I declare to you. Samuel did what the Lord commanded, and came to Bethlehem. The elders of the city came to meet him, trembling, and said, Do you come peaceably? He said, Peaceably, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves, and come with me to the sacrifice. And he consecrated Jesse and his sons, and invited them to the sacrifice. When they came, he looked at Eliab, and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance, or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as a man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab, and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse came to Shammah. Uh, Jesse made Shammah pass by. And he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. And Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen these. Then Samuel said to Jesse, Are all your sons here? And he said, There remains yet the youngest, but behold, he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and get him, for we will not sit down till he comes here. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy, and had beautiful eyes, and was handsome. And the Lord said, Arise. Anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward, 
And Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Hmm. Interesting. All right. The New Testament lesson, the epistle lesson this morning, 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. And this one is entitled, The Shepherd, the Flock of God. So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility towards one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And this is the word of the Lord this morning. And that's good stuff. Good stuff. All right, we will go to the Pray Now app, and I'll read the prayer of the day. All right, let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, your Son announced in the synagogue of his hometown of Nazareth that as the Messiah, his teaching and miracles demonstrated his presence in, the, in creation to release it from bondage and bring healing by making all things new. Give us faith to see that his teaching and miracles continue today in the healing medicine of your word and the sacraments which put to flight the diseases of our souls. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. All right, well, I hope and pray that you have a fantastic day. Have a good week. And uh, so, uh, oh, if you're in Texas, enjoy the eclipse today. I'll be inside working, so, uh, well, maybe I'll get to look out the window. But anyway, y'all have a good day, and God bless. So be safe, be happy. And be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.